with our friends. <laughs> we are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home, Sisu. We lifted anchor and we are going to follow our friends over there to a place called Jolly Harbour. <laughs> Time to sail and just like that. Yay. And the wind just like that suddenly gust. <laughs> we are passing now here between this reef and the land. So yes, reef. So <laughs> we need to be it's like a very narrow channel that we need to go through. This is what I call cool sailing ground. Island of Antigua. We're on our way to Jolly Harbour. And look at those hills. And this is the flattest island apparently in the Caribbean. Deep in thought. <laughs> Where is the next rum going to be? <laughs> yeah. And also like this is a very treacherous place. They say on a chart, there's growing corollettes everywhere. But I think at 15 meters we might be good. <laughs> but it's when we get to the 3 meters and the 5 meters that I'm worried. <laughs> Look at this cool little alcove. that beach. There is like 350 beaches around Antigua. So I'm sure you're going to find either a busy one or a quiet one, but there will be one that's going to tickle your fancy. And these are our friends from Toucan, Bev and Gary from South Africa. So we are anchored next to them in, Ant well, in um, English Harbour. So we're coming out for a trip, a five day trip and they're bringing us here to Jolly Harbour. I'm looking for a white spot. What about this one right in front of us? I can drop. It's four meters. Four. Okay, lock off. Try to keep the bow into the wind. Okay, we stopped. Now setting the anchor, let's see. I think we dug in. I'm just easing off. Now we're going to put a bridle on. Okay, letting the bridle out. Okay. Looks like we on bridle only, so it's good. Well done. well done. Now to go and set the anchor alarm. Then we are done. Look at that. And we are ready to go into Jolly Harbour. Over there somewhere, I think. And we are on our way to Jolly Harbour. What a jolly ride. to see if people of that side or not on the starboard or starboard side. That, that's the true style and you, I cannot change that. You can, you can go in there, you can go there and you can go in there and in there. It's like all over. We can get lost here. What sleepers in Seattle? So Tom Hanks is living here. There's another avenue, I think I call it. Almost like Fort Lauderdale. Lots of little channels and lots of boats. Look at this pretty place. Jolly house. 
So we are approaching the end. Oh, here's another Utrimer. Well, it's not Riley. Wow, look at this mansion. What is this? It says dinghy dock, so we can go there. This place was a casino, huge flourishing casino and the guy apparently that's not just hearsay but apparently dodged a couple of tax payments and then they shut him down. And now this place cannot be bought, cannot be sold, it is just standing here. Yo, I've been watching these big birds now for a for a while. They are black pelicans who look like pelicans but they are black. Fly flying it. Wow, wow. <laughs> yes. There must be a lot of fish there. Looks like dive bombers. <laughs> okay, we've done this route by dinghy already. So now we're going in with Sisu to go get some water because the water is a bit murky here we can't make water and at the same time fill up the diesels sing won't you sing with me leave everything for me stay the night oh miss your flight walk through the rain with me get so to the skin feel free shut the world out let's hang out oh i used to see in colors now it's gray till i met you at the concert the other day We, we are busy <laughs> filling up water here but it is slow and then when that, that boat over there is switched on <laughs> so we're going to be here for a while but yeah, not very fast and we filled up with diesel and I had a little bit of a shock because the guy, I look at it and it's like 103 and it's 103 watt because we, we were basically empty after the crossing and all of that so it was 103 gallons oh how much God. how much fuel is 103 gallons? <laughs> I have no idea and something like a thousand watt EC so how much dollar is that? Oh. So it's like, do, it is in European, uh, what's it? East, East Caribbean, Caribbean currency and in gallons. Like an oven. There's a lot of muscles here. We just left anchor there from Jolly, Jolly Harbor. And it was a nice place. These are our friends in Toucan. And we are sailing just with the Genoa at this moment and I decided to take a little bit of a wider route so that we can just use one tack basically and a round up, round up and then go around to that point over there and we want to go we want to go to that orbit over there this one here, that's where we to go to Deep Bay which is over there. We are now getting very close to close, close reach and I have tightened the sail up as much as I can over there but it's still laughing over there so be 
there's two things that we can do in this case the first thing is we are going to tighten the leech line the leech line is hidden behind this pouch here friends let's go they are 42 so good so they much smaller than us but yeah and it's nothing less I think it's almost time to reef our parent went one to touch 25 19, the parent wind, but yeah, so even now then there's a gust coming through. But the sea state is very, very nice, you can see. We on a lee, so the wind is coming from that side, so there's not a big fetch. So all the swells is this little small swells, and if you look at the bows, obviously, we're not going that much up and down. So this, the sails is actually much better at this moment because. There's no movement like that, and we're also not going up and down to put a lot of stress onto the side. That lagoon is jumping out the water now. Two can. And the name, she loves those birds. And they reckon two can sail that boat, so it's a perfectly suited name. Perfect sunset in deep bay. Look at it. Are we going to wait for a green flash? We just witnessed two boats, two sailboats at anchor. Witness. Witnessed. We saw. Because they weren't part of a crime scene. You only witnessed them. I think they're part of the crime scene. <laughs> I think so. So they are over there. And that was on our tack. And I wanted to avoid them. And we, we actually saw one of them on IIS. And there's a couple of wrecks there and a reef so we thought well we are here we are very close so we can just as well go and investigate so we dropped the code d and we're going to investigate so there's the other two boats and one has a green peace flag so green peace so it might be just green peace they are there in dinghies there's one there and there's another dinghy somewhere there okay no fluffy mike it is just the GoPro because we are about to submerge. The plan is that we will go a little bit because this you can see the swells is a little bit nasty. And so we are planning to go upstream or upwind and then use Stepex to drift down along the reef. Wow! Okay, 
Pietro is busy bringing in the lines. I'm only catching grass today. Yeah, only grass. Yeah. And we really, really honestly did that reef over and over and that yeah. drop off. And we changed lures three times. So we had rapalas, we had squirts, we had blue ones, we had pink ones, we had orange pink ones. Orange, rasta, rasta one we had pink. even rasta rapalas. And this looks like a real squirt. And this is, no, now look at that. This is what we catch. Uh, we are only catching this sargusum.